All right, case eight is a 14 year old with headache. Here we have some images from an MR of the brain through the posterior fossa. There's a flare on the left and a T2 on the right. Here you have pre and post contrast images. Here's a final sagittal post contrast image. So question 8a, what is the most likely diagnosis? And then which of these masses is known for presenting as a nodule within a cyst? So is it pilocytic astrocytoma, hemangioblastoma, pleomorphic xanthroastrocytoma, or PXA, or all of the above? I know they tell you not to include questions that are all of the above, but that means the ABR will probably do it. This is a case of a pilocytic astrocytoma. This is the most common pediatric primary brain tumor. It's a relatively benign lesion that has 94% 10 year survival. These are grade one lesions. The most common location, uh, particularly in children, is in the cerebellum, the posterior fossa. They can also occur in the optic nerve and optic chiasm. In adults, you'll sometimes see them uh, supertentorially. They can also be supertentorial in kids, but it's far more common to be in the posterior fossa. On imaging, you tend to have a primary cystic component with an avidly enhancing nodule. You can have areas of solid enhancement, so they can be somewhat, somewhat variable, but think about that uh, nodule and cystic regions. So here are your flare T2 images. So you have a flare hyperintense mass in the posterior fossa here, compressing the fourth ventricle over to the right there. On T2, it's uh, pretty bright with some surrounding edema. Here's your pre and post contrast. So you see that it's pretty, uh, pretty low intensity on pre contrast with some areas of heterogeneous enhancement centrally. This is not exactly the classic appearance, but by far this is gonna be the most common diagnosis in a child with a posterior fossa mass. Here you see just sagittal images of the same thing. So you see this mass displacing the fourth ventricle here and some heterogeneous areas of enhancement within. So whenever you have a cyst and a nodule, you want to think about uh, this differential diagnosis. Again, so pilocytic astrocytoma, as was this case, gangliocleoma, hemangioblastoma, and these occur in the posterior fossa, but more commonly they'll have blood vessels or flow voids. So use that as your differentiating factor or pleomorphic xanthroastrocytoma or PXA. So if you think about your question, I kind of gave you the answer just a second ago. All of the above can have a cyst and a nodule sort of appearance. Uh, so your answer here is D.